Well, hey there, you two. Matt and Roy back again. Well, I wasn't exactly planning on doing this video tonight, but yesterday I received this package from eBay, and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. As most everybody who's watched my channel for any length of time knows, I am a huge cassette tape enthusiast. If you look up there, you can see what are 102 tapes. I've actually counted those. Um, and then I have about another um, maybe 10 or 20 blank tapes in there. So these are all blank. The ones over there on the left are actually 8mm tapes. And yes, guys, I am filming this with my Sony DCR TRV280. So you've by now you've probably guessed what is in this box. You are right. They are some cassette tapes that I picked up off of eBay. Uh, now, I generally do not buy cassette tapes on eBay because they are generally um, really expensive, just to be perfectly honest. Um, eBay has become, uh, I don't want to use the word cessful, but it's become a place to go if you want to spend boatloads of money on, uh, on classic tech or any kind of items. Um, records are ridiculously expensive on eBay. Um, pretty much anything that... I, I, there's another term, something called garage sale fodder. Things that most people bring to garage sales now sell on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. But as with what I've purchased here, there are those times, yes, there are those times where you can find a deal. And I thought this was a deal and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box and show you guys exactly what I got. Okay, I have gone ahead and cut the tape off camera just because I don't have my tripod out. And it's really difficult to hold this big camcorder and use a pair of scissors at the same time. First thing you'll notice is they definitely did not use a new box. Obviously, they had something shipped to them in this. And I can actually read what it was. Apparently, this was some Christmas gift wrapping. I don't know, probably one of those uh, school fundraisers or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we got. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean much if they use an old box. As long as it was packaged right, then I will be happy. You can see that got some of this old green tape here. And it looks like they used... <laughs> Wrap, brown wrapping paper, which I'm not all that crazy about because this has virtually no protection at all. Um, when I ship things, I will use bubble wrap, and in the rare instance that I'm out of bubble wrap, a nice thing to do is get some plastic bags and ball them up. And if you put a lot of those together, it actually makes some cushioning for what you're shipping. So, <sighs> yeah, I am not that enthused with the way this was shipped, but let, let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, there are two different packs of cassettes in here. I am going to start with the one that I think is more valuable. What you see here is a 16-pack of TDK D60 tapes, and I am not exactly sure of the year. They are sealed, although uh, the outer packaging on this has definitely seen better days. And let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16. Yep, there are definitely 16 here. It does have a sticker here. Let's see, it says tapes made in Japan, and then it gives a proof of purchase. So I am guessing these are probably from the mid to early 90s, just because they don't have, they're not the streamline or the um, slimline cassettes. Uh, cases on here. You can see these are the standard size cassette cases, which TDK and most other manufacturers pretty much did away by the mid to late 90s. So I'm going to put these, date these maybe right around 1994 or so. Um, yeah, I am really happy with this. It looks like they survived their journey just fine. So we will go to the very last of the new blank cassettes I picked up. And yes, I would consider these new old stock. Uh, these are, without a doubt, the older of the two. I would probably, yep, you can see it right there. I was going to date these the early 90s. This is actually copyright 1989 by Ricotin Corporation. Um, for those of you that do not live in the Northeast, you may never have heard of this brand. I know that we, when I lived in New York, they sold tons of these in our area, but I never have never seen anything since I moved to the South, not in the Ricotin brand name. 
Um, I remember a store called Ames and uh, James Way both sold these back in the day. Um, these are, I believe, standard uh, Type 1 tapes. I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, they sold them as just XR90s. They may actually be uh, high... Ugh, I can't even think, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's late at night, and I'm just getting really tired. They might be Type 2 tapes, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open these, and we'll see exactly what I have here. Wow, I always think it's fascinating breaking into a new old stock um, piece of any history. It's pretty much what it is. It's a piece of history. You figure this was manufactured in 1989 and has been sealed in its original packaging ever since. Now, for collectors, I'm probably doing the most heinous thing ever, which is opening up a classic piece of cassette memorabilia that's sealed. But you know what? I am actually going to use these cassettes, so uh, nobody complain. I, this is what I want to do with them, and that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let's open it up. Let's smell that 1989 air that's been sealed in there for, let's see, what is that, 21, 25, 27 or so years. i got to take a sniff. Ah, actually, it kind of smells musty, but you know what? I don't care because they are all in there. These, again, are the Rikuten Gold Series XR90 tapes. And I'm actually going to find out right now what they are. And, yes, they are normal bias tapes. They're not uh, Type 2. So these are Type 1 tapes. And you can see them right there. Um, it looks to be, they look to be in very good shape. I'm not, you know, won't know until I actually try to make a copy with these, which I will probably do sometime in the near future. So this is going to be it. Like I said, this was just going to be a quick unboxing of these tapes that I picked up on eBay. And I will tell you that I gave a total of $18.65 for 26 tapes. So all in all, not a bad deal. So just goes to show you, there are definitely some deals still out there to be had. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.